The San Jose Flea Market brings us stories of outstanding athletes each week. This week it's the story of a boy from New Zealand whose dream to play football landed him in Oakland. That's right, and how he got to Oakland and finally earned his chance to play is tonight's Inside Cal High. For William Hodgman, the dream of playing football in the United States began a few years ago in his home country of New Zealand. Well, it was actually my rugby coach. He was like, William, how would you like to play American football? And I just said yes to blow it off. And, well, I think two months later he ended up signing my name down and he got me onto the team without, and he just told me that practice was that day. And the rest is history, right? Not quite. After traveling over 8,000 miles, living with four different families, and changing schools three times, William landed at Bishop O'Dowd in hopes of playing for head coach Paul Paranon. But midway through the season, William was still waiting. I think it speaks to Will's determination when I'm sure there were days, and we talked about him, where there were days and times where, you know, we kind of looked at one another and just said, this might not happen. Not to worry, though, while William waited, he had a couple of teammates and carpool buddies to show him the ropes and teach him about American culture and, more importantly, American food. The carpool. The driver, so you know. I'm the driver. I'm the designated phone. Phone. phone he person. talks on the phone since I can't. And he controls the radio, and then Will is just there. And actually, in my truck, it's just like this. This is how we are, all squished up like this. Will didn't know what a waffle was. Or chi chicken, chicken waffles. waffles. Chicken and waffles. Yeah. Chicken and waffles. We went to dinner one day after a game, and we were like, Will, you should get chicken and waffles. He's at Lake Mary Bakery. And he was like, what is that? And they brought out the waffle, and he's looking at it like, where's my chicken? Is it baked into it? And we are like, no, nah, it hasn't come yet. And he was like, oh, OK. And ever since then, he stays eating waffles. Yes. That's my favorite food right there. Well fed and ready for action. Come the sixth game of the season, William played in his first football game as a dragon. He went through five weeks of games not playing and four weeks of training camp not playing. And it's easy for a 17-year-old kid, you know, yeah, exactly. This, is, this isn't going to happen. Why am I going out there, you know, tearing my body apart every day for this? Yeah, it was tough, but... It, it, was, it was all going to pay off. I know that even though I had to watch, I, I knew that I was still helping out the team. Like I was still on like scout offense, scout defense, giving them a look. O'Dowd went on to have a spectacular season, going 10-2 and two and making the NCS Division Three playoffs. Along the way, Coach Paranon earned his 200th win, and he also earned the gratitude of his starting defensive tackle. I appreciate you, Coach. <laughs> <laughs> sure. With the help of Coach Paranon, William is being recruited by schools like UCLA, Cal, and Colorado, who might be interested in this inside scoop from his teammates. And uh, just so. <laughs> just let you guys know, he's a he's a defensive lover. He he hates yeah. offense. He he hates playing offense. Yeah. To all the college coaches, I love offense. I yeah. can play. <laughs> if you uh, want to play offense, I'll play offense. Yeah. But. Of course, William's parents miss him immensely. Jeff and Lucia Hodgman try to talk with their son every day. When asked in an email how challenging this has been, they replied, With whatever happens, we are just proud of what he has achieved in the little time he has been there. He has remained focused on achieving his goals and maintained his faith even through the tough times. And for this, what parent wouldn't be proud? William is as lighthearted as they come, so we leave you with this. If there was ever a question, if a six foot three, three hundred and twenty pound football player of Samoan Fijian descent could do the worm, here's your answer. And William's father and I have been corresponding via email, learning more about him and his family. And he has a younger brother, uh -huh. six four, two hundred and forty pounds and quote, runs like a truck. But he's, he's a rugby player in New Zealand. In New Zealand, mm -hmm. all right. But we have a place to stay when we go there next. That's right. All right, very good. Valentine Capital brings us the player of the week every week brought to us in a rap done by one of the Bay Area's best rap artists. Here's Irk the Jerk 